Yeah, Warthog Princess, and welcome to stockings. Yeah, Christmas stockings. Sorry if you don't celebrate the holiday, but here we go. I am just sharing because I got some new ones today, which, oh man, my chair's not rolling. It's hitting the tile. Okay, so the first one, classic Christmas stocking, just the fuzzy red with the white, and it hangs. It's um, a little bit smaller size than the other ones we're going to see, but this was from when I was a kid, when my parents were divorced and I'll go visit my dad. This was my stocking there, so we got to take it home and I've always kept it, so I've always had a stocking always and i'm a sentimentalist and a pack rat um yeah so here we go classic and so now i just use that as a decoration along with this one so they kind of you know face each way but this one is a felt one so it's actually kind of thin it's just felt i don't know where i got this it may have also been from my stepmom doing christmas with the family up there after my dad passed but um it's it's so pretty. I mean, it has the, these bead work and um, what you call them, the uh, dupers. They're on my sweater too, those uh, sequins. There it is, sequins. Anyways, um, my aunt might have actually even made it. I don't even know, I should know where I got it. This, sometimes my memory is crap. But it's super pretty and so that's a decorative one. I don't use it, I just hang it and they face opposite directions so it's kind of, I put them in the front room by the tree. And then, okay, so this is the stocking I used for many, many years. It's um, sort of a felt backing but then it has a knit top on it, the cuff, it's only on the front, it doesn't go around. So the back, I don't know what brand it is, I've had it for a long, long time because it was just me and so I just had a fun stocking. He's three dimensional, he's like a little stuffy sewn on the stocking. So you have the tree and the snow, I love the snow. And then you have, he has a scarf, he's got a candy cane, it's like a stuffed, and he's got his little antlers on there. So I don't know if it's a, a reindeer or it's like a bear with a reindeer hat. <laughs> I don't know, but it's super cute. So this was just, it was just me for many years and so this has been all over the world with me. And then I had two dogs. This before, so this is many years ago. Back in 2003, I got two puppies. I had a boy and a girl. They were litter mates, Gabby and Bubba. They were lab pit mix. And they were just the greatest. I had them until they aged up and got sick and died around 11 and a half and 13 years old, the two of them. Anyways, after Bubba died, he was the second to pass. That's when I got Lucy. But anyways, so Gabby and Bubba and I, so I had to have three stockings. So I got a set of them that I bought individually, but Bubba's color was blue. Like most of his stuff was blue. So I got the blue. These are like a velvety ones, but they have those snowflakes all kind of in the fabric that pop out in the light. But it's just very, it's very classy and elegant, this one. It just has black velvet cuff with this gold rope and a the gold tassels. I just think it's super classy, right? So Bubba was blue, Gabby's color was red, and I know this is more of like a cranberry or a red red, but so her color was red, so blue and red, and that left me with the only remaining color available in these at the time, which was green. Green is not really my color in general, but green and red are very Christmassy, and blue and green and red kind of was perfect, so. So that's the the stockings I've been hanging for years with myself and Gabby and Bubba. But even after they pass, like I don't decorate every year. It just depends. Like sometimes I'm away with family. Last year I spent two weeks in Nevada with my aunt. And anyway, so these now I hung this year on my, on my hearth. When I hung up all my decorations, those are up there just as decorative, classy. My house is not classy in general, but that is okay. But then, you know, Gabby and Bubba pass and I have Lucy and Kelly. So the last couple years I got some Vera Bradley ones, and, you know, just to change it up. And I love Vera Bradley, obviously. So I got some nice cotton quilted stockings. And there was three of us, so I had three. No particular one for which, which of us, but these ones, this first one is Bordeaux Blooms. And I just think it looks very Christmassy. I mean, it's not really Christmassy, but I mean, you have dragonflies in there. There's another one on the back right here. It's just pretty, but it, 
it kind of just has Christmas all over it to me. And they just have a nice fabric loop and they hang. The inside is also trimmed with the interior pattern. So there it is, all the way down it's trimmed. So yeah, all the way down. And then it comes with an ornament that also is in the pattern. So there's the Bordeaux blooms. This is a little reindeer. He's attached by plastic because I haven't used these. Um, but yeah, so he has antlers. He's got embroidered eyes and a red nose and then these dots, little fawn. He's super cute, little puffy. Um, so that, so I hung them and I just, when I hung them on the hearth that year, last year, I just had them like that with the ornaments on them because I just thought the little ornaments were super cute with the stocking. I didn't bother taking them off. And then I put them back in storage and just put the little ornament inside. Anyway, so here's holiday owls. The nice owls and then there's a coordinating trim pattern. And then the interior is the night sky. And this one has an owl on it, which of course makes sense because it's the owls. And it's just a little stuffy. It's got the pattern on the back and embroidery on the front. So there's that one. And the third one is owls, not holiday owls, just owls. Um, this owl always reminds me of Hedwig, but <laughs> anyway. And then it too has the night sky pattern on it. And this ornament is also an owl and it's the same except different colors. So there's owls and embroidery on the front. So just different colors, the same, same owl. So very cool. Anyway, so it was just Kelly and I now. Lucy, unfortunately, is no longer with us. But this year, I discovered Lug. Now, I still love Vera, and I will never get rid of those stockings. But I discovered Lug, and guess what? Lug came out with stockings. So if you're watching the Lug live shows like I have been, um, yeah. Hi, my name is Zena. I have a shopping problem. <laughs> the log addiction uh anyways i'm just watching just for entertainment right next thing you know i have a stack of stockings for everybody in my family so i first bought just myself one in the cranberry so it's it's the lug material you know it's like that slicky nylon very wipeable it's got this nice quilting it looks like a braided quilting or like a like a chain almost not but anyway it's, it's really it's really nice and it has this Christmassy nylon pattern. This is the same as the three Christmas masks that came in the Lug Surprise Box. There were three, there was a red based one, a blue based one, and a green based one. But this is all the way down. So they're lined all the way to the toe with that. Pretty good size stocking though. So when we compare this to the Vera ones, they are approximately the same height. The Vera one is slightly wider and the Lug one has a slightly longer toe. So pretty comparable altogether. The velvet ones are a little taller just in the leg because they have a nice wide cuff, but roughly the same envelope as well. But so I just got this one for myself, just one. I already knew I had the dog covered and um, yeah, so I got just one. But then I kept watching show after show and I kept seeing them and I thought I really need that plaid gray one. So I got myself a plaid gray one. <laughs> I still didn't get the blue one, but I probably have to now to have a set of three because I'm obsessive compulsive and that's what I do. But the gray one, the plaid gray on top. So you have your plaid gray with a nice lug hardware. You have this part, the stocking part is actually heather gray and it is heather gray material. So it's like that cloth like feel, the heather gray that we know and love and I do. So this is right up my alley. And this, the holders on these, by the way, they do have a snap on them. So you can wrap it around something and snap it on. You don't have to hook them or staple them on the wall or something. And you can do different hanging options. But there you go, there's the plaid gray. And then they also have a blue one, which again, I don't have one for me. I need to get back on there and order one of these um, just to complete the set. But this one is a brushed material. So I don't know if you can see that it's the brushed material. So all three stockings are different materials, actually. This is still the Lug Slicky Nylon stuff all the way inside. And this is also that Christmas mask matching one. 
But this is a brushed navy sort of material and feel. Yeah. So there you go. But they're all constructed the same and they're all great. So two for me, just because. But then I have them for the family. So we got one for my nephew, one for my other nephew, one for my brother-in-law, one for my sister, my niece, and my niece-in-law. Stockings. The but I was, I've been having so much fun. Shh, don't tell them these are coming because they don't know. This is all going to be a surprise. They get to take them home with them and keep them forever and always. And hopefully they will take care of them. But I'm going to fill them up with all sorts of great things that I've been stocking up for weeks now. And all the little things I'm going to put in there are things like, we always get an orange and apple in ours. I have the oranges, little, um, like little tangerine size oranges. Um, and then I have, like, everybody gets a hand sanitizer, a mask, a toothbrush, some toothpaste, and candy, different candies and candy canes and different varieties, and uh, little gifts in there. It's so much fun planning for Christmas for other people. It's really fun. The spirit of giving. Tis the season. Uh, it's better to give than to receive. I don't know. I've been doing a lot of receiving this year, gifting myself. But I also have a lot of gifts for other people. So... Anyway, hope you're doing well. Hope the season and this crazy year are not stressing you out. My reindeer says hello with his big nose and his bow tie. Um, but hang in there. This year is almost over. Hopefully there's a lot of joy between now and the end of it. And hopefully things will improve for all of us in the coming days and weeks and months and years for everybody. So hang in there there is a light at the end of this crazy tunnel and i wish you well stay safe stay happy stay healthy and have a great great holiday season and a wonderful new year bye for now washi washi